InnoCello includes functionality that helps to manage external references for Autodesk Inventor assemblies. In this video, we will look at how references can be used to find other parts of an assembly. The heart of any Inventor assembly is its references. In the client, you can view the references of any document in two different ways. First of all, you can click the link shown here, on the Document Property window, when you have an assembly or reference document selected. This brings up a new dialog with the assembly structure as we can see here. There are two sections to this dialog. The graphical representation of the references is shown here, and the toolbar at the top of the dialog. The currently selected document is represented as this tan-colored block. Documents that are referenced to this document are shown in aqua-colored blocks. References between the documents are depicted as yellow blocks, with an arrow showing the direction of the reference. If we move back up to the toolbar, there are a number of controls available to us. Depending on which object you have selected in the graphical representation window, different buttons will become available on the toolbar. Let's select a document block. Now that we have a document block selected, two buttons on the toolbar become available to us. First up is the Change to this document button. With the document block selected, you can navigate to that document and view the reference structure from that point of view. We also have the Compare command. When pressing this button, the currently selected document will be compared to the document that is represented in the tan-colored block. In the case of Inventor, this is merely a graphical comparison due to limitations of the viewer. If you have navigated away from the original document, you can use these two arrows to move through all navigation changes you have made. Along with these commands, we also have the ability to restrict the types of references shown using this drop-down box. The last two buttons on the toolbar are used when references are selected in the graphical representation. As we can see here, this button gives us the ability to view the properties of the selected reference. This shows us the following information the name, the reference type, the source document, and the destination document. By default, Inventor references cannot be deleted manually. This is to protect the integrity of the assembly. If you have manually created references, however, you can remove them from within using this command. The second method of viewing reference structure is the Assembly Structure Browser dialog. This can be accessed from the Show Assembly Structure command on the Document menu. It is important to note here that the document you have selected in the Explorer view will be considered the top-level document. This means that you will only see documents that are under the top-level document from this dialog. Let's have a look at the different sections of this dialog. Along the top of the dialog, you have a toolbar with a number of commands. Below the toolbar, you can see the tree structure representation of the assembly. At the bottom of the dialog is a preview of the document you select in the assembly structure dialog in the form of a thumbnail. You can also see a number of properties to the right of the thumbnail. Moving back up to the tree structure, you can see that all subassemblies are also shown. You can expand them to see the documents that make up the subassembly. In some cases, the assembly or subassembly documents may be shown in red. This indicates that the assembly document is not completely up to date. Some parts or subassemblies may need updating. Documents with a grey colour, on the other hand, are on someone else's work list. A very useful feature of the assembly structure browser is the ability to access a document's context menu. Some of the actions you can take from this context menu include changing document workflow, compare documents, and assign to a work area. Let's have a look at the toolbar. 
The first button will open a viewer window to show the currently selected document. This can be useful if you need a larger image than the thumbnail. Next in the toolbar is the Show Revision of Document button. When you click this button, you will get a dialog showing all the revisions of the currently selected document. Now we come to the Properties button. As the name implies, pressing this button will present you with the Properties windows for the currently selected document. From this dialog, you can view or edit all properties of the document. The last button in the first section of the toolbar is the Refresh button. If you want to get the latest situation of the assembly, simply press Refresh and the tree will be updated. With the Show Assembly References button, you can switch the focus to one of the sub-assemblies or documents. This means that instead of viewing the assembly structure of the first document you selected, you can view the structure of a sub-assembly or document. Using this method, you can navigate all the way to the bottom of the assembly structure. Another useful feature of the assembly structure dialog is the ability to see in which assemblies a document is used. You can do this with the Show Where Used button. Finally, for this section of the toolbar, there is the Show Derivatives dialog. This dialog will show you which documents have been derived from the document you have selected. The last button on the toolbar is the Options button. It contains only one option, and that is whether or not manual references are shown. This has been an overview of working with references in the InnoCello Power User Client. Information on these features can be found in the InnoCello User Guide. Thanks for watching.